All right, so what we're going to go over today is replacing a headlight bulb in a what is also known as a T3 or Platform 7P Touareg. What we have here is my 2011 Touareg TDI, and the passenger side headlight went out. Well, I have tried, and no, I cannot replace it without removing the bumper. So that's what we're going to go over today. A quick rundown before we start. There are going to be four screws to take the grill off. Once you take the grill off, there's going to be four screws there to for the top bumper. Around here, you got to pop this trim loose. There's one screw that you have to take loose first, and then there are three screws underneath the trim. So that's four screws on this side. Once we're done on the driver's side, we have the same four bolts on this side to remove. The one on the bottom, pop the trim loose, and then three behind the trim. So four, 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 four. The tools I used for this project were an electric screwdriver, T20 Torx bit, quarter inch drive ratchet, T20 as well, um, a little extender for some points, and a T30 for removing the headlights, everything else was a T20, flashlight, really handy, and a magnetic tray for the screws. You can use a probably any variety of T20 and T30 that you'd like, but those are just the ones I found really helpful with this project. Once you have the four bolts from the top of the grill removed, you just grab a hold of it. There'll be some resistance and some feels like some clicking, but it just kind of it comes straight off like that. Once the grill is off, there'll be four bolts to, uh, on the top of the bumper you have to remove. There's two of them there, and there's two of them there. You're still working with the T20. Okay, so there is a screw down here with this trim in place, and you pop it loose or like me, break a couple pieces. And then there are three uh, screws you gotta remove. These are all T20 Torx. You got this one here, that one there, and then back even further, you got that one there. So there's really four here all together that you remove. Once you've taken those four screws out from one side of the vehicle, do it for the other side too. Loosening the bumper from this point, I didn't get a video of it, but you have to pull with a little bit of force to pop it loose. The idea is to pull it out and go forward with it. Uh, once both sides are loose, you can pull just a little bit. This isn't removing the entire bumper. There are four more screws down below that you would have to take loose to remove the entire bumper. Uh, the idea here is you don't have to remove it. You just are loosening it enough to get access to the headlight bolts. So once the bumper is loose, you can now undo the three bolts for the headlight. Now these are all T30. This right here is a short bolt on the top. And then down there is one of the bolts. And over there is the other one. Those ones on the bottom are actually fairly long. And that's where this tool comes in pretty handy. It's a ratchet that you can in basically used as a big long screwdriver. Okay, the two screws that you have to remove in order to get the back cover off to access the headlight bulb is this one right here and that one right there. They're backed out a little bit right here just to make it a little bit easier to identify in the video. And I guess if you're looking at it straight from the back, that would be the orientation. That right there. Once you have the back cover loose, you can move it aside just a little bit. It will have wires attached to it because it is also the headlamp ballast, but there is now enough room to get inside and disconnect the wiring from the bulb. And then you turn the bulb about 1 16th of a turn or so to loosen it and remove it from the assembly. Bad bulb versus good bulb. 
Now I need to remove the surround, the holder for the bulb. And uh, you push down on this little clip here. I'm, I've already pre-done it and doing this one-handed so I can hold the, the phone. And uh, you can get that loose. There we go. So once you get that one side loose, it'll swing around. And then there are a couple of notches. That one's already out. And that one comes out just like that. So you notice that big notch there corresponds to that big notch there on the new bulb. And uh, it should line up with those two keys. Oops, sorry about that. So yeah, it lines up with the two keys. That one right there and that one right there. And that should come around and close just like that. And it's ready to install. And there we have the new bulb installed into the headlight assembly. So I'm going to put the back, back on right there. Put the screws back in it. And uh, put it all back in there and see if it works. Oh yeah. It works, it's all back together now. Um, it's just the parking lights running at the moment. It took me just over an hour to do it all. Uh, that's uh, stopping and because the recordings too, so your time may vary. Overall, not a hard project to do. The hardest part was actually removing the bumper, getting that a little bit uh, disconnected just because you have to pull it out and then uh, pull forward, and then getting it back on there too. Uh, all the bolts and everything were actually fairly easy. The trim was easy to get off. The headlight with the harness still attached made it a little difficult, but it was a lot easier to replace that bulb like that than it would have been to try to finagle everything with it in. So there you have it, my first video on how to do anything on a Touareg. This was a 2011 Touareg TDI North American model. Headlight uh, on the passenger side, driver's side would be similar. Hopefully it wasn't terrible.